Salutations, YouTube. Welcome to Chook's new channel, Chook's Trapping. Just kidding, um, but I am very excited because I'm going to start trapping. Ivers took me out trapping yesterday, and I'm learning the intricacies of trapping. So, uh, what do I have here? I have a, oh, put your nose too close to it. It's a, uh, a Duke trap. It's a number three. It's a D. So, why don't we see if Chook can break his fingers. That would be a great episode, wouldn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna show you the power of this trap. When I, I bought this three years ago, I didn't even get a chance to use it uh, because I, I didn't really know what I was doing, but now I pretty much know what I'm doing. So let's try to set this trap off. Uh, maybe I'll break my finger. All right. Why don't we just err on the safe side, shall we? Like this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's got some power. So that was pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, th thanks to YouTube, I uh, some great videos on setting these traps. Uh, but anyways, this is a, uh, I guess it's called a foothold. Ivers calls it a leg hold trap. And uh, he had a handful of these and some snares, and we went out to his trap line. And uh, he grew up in the village, so he's been, he's been doing this for years. He's caught wolves, uh, but he's caught several lynx um, at this trap line. So I was really excited, hoping that we'd, we'd see a coyote or a lynx, but uh, we didn't get anything um, in the traps except for two squirrels. So it was uh, a little bit disappointing, but it was just super awesome because he gave me, he walked me through his trap line, showed me the, the secrets about setting traps. Now, the biggest thing, the, the reason why I haven't started my own trap line three years ago is dogs. It is very difficult. I live in the big city of Anchorage here. It's pretty difficult to get away to an area where there's not people um, because so many guys will go out there and um, They'll set a trap line, but you know, they drive an hour out of town and people walk their dogs everywhere. It's hard to find a place where people, and, and a dog gets his foot broken. Not cool, not cool, man. So um, that's what we want to avoid, but we went deep into the interior, got up really early and th there was no, nobody's gonna walk their dog on a game trail way out in the middle of nowhere, they would be crazy. Um, so anyways, you, you get these traps, you get some smelly paste and you put it on there. Um, now there's lots of tricks. He, he showed me all kinds of tricks. Um, so we weren't really going for wolves. You got to really be on your A game to go to wolves. They, they, they smell anything with the human scent and you won't get it. I mean, they, uh, these guys boil these things with uh, pine needles and use special gloves anytime you touch it. Uh, but you, we could get coyotes and lynx. Lynx actually don't really use their sense of smell as much as sight. So you actually hang a CD, something flashy, they'll go for that, a bird wing. Um, but and he, he's gotten lynx there, just incredible. The crazy thing is um, when you get a lynx that's still alive, what you do is you bonk it on the head. You don't want to mess up the fur. You don't want to mess up the skull. So you bonk it on the head, kind of knock it out. Then you come up behind it and it looks like you're strangling it or you're squeezing its lungs, but what you're doing is crushing its heart. But, uh, man, I was thinking, boy, that would be crazy if the 30-pound cat came to while you're trying to crush its heart. I mean, it's going to hurt you. So I was hoping to film something crazy like that. But anyways, um, I learned a lot of things. you got to cover this in wax. You know, we, had, we did have a trap freeze up on us. Some moisture got on it, and it, it didn't trip. Um, because it froze up. One of the snares might have got dragged too. We didn't find one of the snares, but uh, yeah, it was. Uh, so we're going for rabbits, marten, ermine, and then the big ones. I'm really going for are coyote and uh, lynx. Big old lynx. We don't have bobcats here in Alaska, but we got these giant lynx. So that's what we're going for. Um, so there's all kinds of tricks. You know, setting it up. You make it in a little area. Um, you know, a little cave they can go in, but a wolf won't necessarily go in that. You just look for where there's there's travel. And then the uh, the snares, you, you don't want to make it small like a rabbit snare. You want it like that big for a coyote or a lynx and a little bit higher. So they might poke their head through it and then they're going to uh, 
they're going to strangle themselves. And, and then, um, you know, different methods of wiring it to a tree or using a drag. But it's just incredible. So we, uh, we just went through the whole thing. And I am going to probably get five to eight of these and a bunch of snares. And in about two weeks, I'm setting up my own trap line. And I got the place. There's not going to be any dogs there. Uh, but I, I think that I know enough uh, that I can actually get some animals. And I'm going to have Ivers uh, hopefully come out with me if he can make it. Um, and hopefully Felton can too. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We didn't go home empty-handed. You know, we got those two squirrels. And then we saw some uh, grouse, some spruce hen, Alaska spruce hen. And uh, Ivers kept missing it because he accidentally broke the sight off his 22, the rear sight. So he, he didn't know where he was shooting. So I had to bust out the 10 mil. And uh, but, so we got a little meat. We didn't go home empty-handed. So once again, that's probably, you know, $75 an ounce for grouse meat. But um, it's a pretty good deal uh, considering everything we've put into it. But anyways, I now know how to trap. Uh, stay tuned for some trapping videos because I still have a few months left of winter. I'm going to be trapping hard. And the goal is to get a large predator, or actually mean, medium-sized predator. This is, uh, you know, number three trap. This will do. But uh, thanks for watching, YouTube. Shoot, your friend in the field. Are you missing? Yeah. I don't know where I'm shooting without this rear sight. You want me to try the 10? Let me try one more. That was low and to the right. Try some Kentucky windage. Yeah. Oh, I thought you got him. Ooh. Oh, right under it. You're shooting low. Still low. It's getting spooked. <laughs>